Today I am checking out some devil's churns. They are called Hiden Kirnot in Finnish. They are geologic thing that happened during the ice age. Basically there was a big amount of water going on with a lot of force and then along the water there was smaller stones going on and then the water hit it on, on some soft rock and the, the hard rock started rolling on the soft rock and making hole on it and as time passed the holes became really really big and here is one of the this, this is actually the biggest devil's churn in Finland here let's go and see It's also rather, rather scenic here, a lot of this bedrock we exposed since the ice age. And here is the first devil's churn. Imagine the tremendous forces needed to carve these things, to rock go all around it, carving inside it, and you should always find the very hard rock there inside, in the bottom. Here's another one, a small one, right carved into the on the side of the rock from the force by the fo water. It's really brilliant. They can be really deep. Here you can see several of these churns right next to each other. Here's one, there's one, there's one, and there's even fourth one. Here you can see the curvature going on the side of the churn where the rock went and just ate bedrock away slowly slowly. These things happened over a long long time, hundreds of years probably. usual people try to figure out meaning of these things back in the day. These churns were made by the devil and this one is the Bishop Hemmings churn. They had to figure out some kind of explanation how they came to be, why they are here. The churns got more attention in the 60s when they were studied by the more modern methods and they were not considered so much of a devils anymore but as a scientific interest to study the past, the Ice Age, and what Ice Age had done. one of them all. Actually this is the biggest one in all of Finland. 
The diameter is all 8 meters and it's deep 15 meters. You could go swimming there, actually diving there. This is it for today. Definitely site worth visiting if you are traveling around Rovaniemi or in the Lapland. It's just 20 kilometers you can even bike here from the town. Okay, 